What else did God celebrate? Animals! They're given to us for food, for clothing. And if you've lost spouses, sometimes it's given them great comfort. It's a wonderful gift from God. You should love animals, but they're not your children. <laughs> if you believe in God, there's a hierarchy. He made animals first and then he made us. And he said, hey, have dominion over them. Treat them well. Be nice to them. But only humans are made in my image. Or you believe in Darwin. You've accepted Charles Darwin into your heart as your Lord and Savior. So evolution means that the animals are in fact equal to you. If you believe in evolution, you can't have pets because you're equal and you own them. <laughs> Is that slavery? <laughs> you see, it matters what you believe about God. Funny to me too. Because people love them, and you should. You just don't lose perspective. I've seen people do it. There's little puppies, and they're like, oh, they're my kids. What? They're my kids. <laughs> Your kids puke on the carpet and eat it? That's weird. <laughs> okay, why is your kid dragging her butt up and down the street? I don't know. <laughs> huh? Maybe put a diaper on the kid? Because that's stinking weird, lady. I'm just saying that. Shave its face. I want to see who it looks like, if that's your kid. <laughs> I love it when people that have animals do evil things to them, but they give it nice words to make to trick the animal and thinking it's being nice. Oh, we had them fixed. <laughs> we had them fixed. <laughs> no, yeah, you had them broken, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, he's working fine till you got a hold of him, I'll tell you right now. Yes, sir. He's no good. Well, we had to put him to sleep. <laughs> okay, no? You put him to dead, really, is what you did. <laughs> Wake him up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's a difference. <laughs> okay. That's what you call putting to sleep. Remind me not to let you babysit my kids. Can you do me that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Difference in who they are, what they look like, what they're about. They're animals. Good, special. We can own them because they're below us. I wanted to have a pet growing up. My dad wouldn't get me, never would get me a pet. You know what I had? I had a fish for like a week. Threw in the ping pong ball, got the, fi got the fish. I was eight. I didn't know what to do. He was in the water. I figured he was cold all the time. I'd bring him out, let him dry off now and again. I didn't, he loved it. He would just dance. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the whole show. Right there. No, oh, crying out loud. You know what I wanted? I wanted a dog. I'm a boy. I got to have a dog. You know what I asked, asked for my dad? Give me a dog. You know what he gave me? Silent dog whistle. Silent stinking dog whistle. You know what those are? Right? You know what it is, right? This is Georgia. Anybody? 16? Any ideas? No. Look at it. No, no. Not more questions. See, silent dog whistle. I, I used to buy these in the back of comic books. You could buy a comic book for like a dime. Not that long ago. And they had, the back section had the coolest thing. You wouldn't believe. See, you think you're modern? Nothing. I could buy a submarine, two bucks. <laughs> submarine! <laughs> X-ray specs, 50 cents. Put on these glasses. You could look right through and see people's bones. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that why all the boys bought the X-ray specs? <laughs> so they could do anthropology? <laughs> Who knows what a stinking silent dog whistle is? Just the mo What is it? It's a silent dog whistle. You, you can't hear it, but the dog can hear it. That's it. That's all. <laughs> silent dog whistle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. If you don't know what it is, you blow into it, and it will create this sort of hyper supersonic sound that human beings cannot actually pick up on, but dogs can, and they're supposed to come a running. And by the way, if you ever had a silent dog whistle, the first thing you found out immediately was, it doesn't work. <laughs> it never worked. And it occurred to me one day, some guy has been making millions of dollars off of a whistle you can't hear. <laughs> Is it me or is this the longest running scam in product development history? This guy should have had a whole product line of worthless junk if we're that kind of a rube. Hey, it's a new flashlight with no bulb. <laughs> Finally, a flashlight designed for daytime use only. 